Breaking right now, the White House says President Trump has been briefed on the stabbing of an officer at the Flint, Michigan airport. And just into our newsroom, federal prosecutors have charged a Canadian man in this. The FBI is looking at terrorism as a possible motive. This happened at Bishop International Airport earlier today. Officials say the law enforcement officer was stabbed at the neck. His condition has improved, though, from critical to stable. The attack appears to have been targeted against law enforcement, but not any specific person. One witness says the suspect shouted Allah Akbar, meaning God is great in Arabic, during the incident. The suspect was taken into custody. Well, Florida may have legalized medical marijuana last year, but Orlando International Airport officials say it is not going to allow the drugs at its gate. Board members at the airport are to say that they're just following federal laws, which still ban the drug. News 6's Matt Petrillo joins us live now from the airport. So, Matt, the airport is going to warn travelers about these rules. That's right. Soon passengers will see signs all over the airport showing that all medical, that all marijuana is banned here. Now, those who are caught with it risk arrest, although airport officials insist that they will not be the arresting agency. Also at today's board meeting, airport officials voted on new rules that would allow Uber to drive passengers home. Now, right now, only the more expensive Uber Select is available. Um, I think it'll be a lot easier. In the middle of this airport, in this hot tunnel, this group of girls traveling from Atlanta to Orlando for a volleyball tournament wait for their Uber ride. They prefer Uber over an old school taxi. I think it's easier how you can set up your own pickup location, just like anywhere you need. Thanks to a vote today passed by the Greater Orlando Aviation Authority, starting next month, passengers will be able to get pickup from the second levels on both Terminal A and B from Ubers, where taxis will also be moving from the ground level. But while taxis have a starting fee of $3.30, the pickup fee for Uber and Lyft will be $5.80. I don't see why that's necessary. It doesn't make sense. The money goes to the airport, but Uber drivers call the difference in the fees absurd. What would you prefer to be in that filthy yellow cab instead of being in a luxury car like this? Airport officials insist the difference in fees is fair because they define Uber and Lyft as pickup services, not as on-demand taxis. Uber drivers hope it doesn't hurt business. I spoke with a customer myself and they say it doesn't matter if it was like three times what the taxi charge, they would prefer to be in this kind of car. Still, many Uber and Lyft passengers say that they do not like those fees because the cost will likely be passed down to them. We're live at OIA. Matt Petrolo, News 6.